Sweet. Um, my name is Tommy Green, and I sing for a band called Sleeping Giant. And um, we have a song that um, my good friend Eric Gregson wrote, and uh, the band put together uh, called Tithemy. Tithemy is actually the name of the church that um, Eric pastors, and um, we wrote it. We I think he wrote the song initially because within our band, it's like just a, a hardcore band from Southern California. And uh, we have a lot of like songs and just yelling and screaming and jumping around and kids are moshing and stuff. But um, within our band, we've always wanted to create kind of a sound of uh, maybe worship or um, like high praise, praise music um, that would make sense maybe to people that, that really love God a lot and, and have never heard music like ours before. And so um, the lyrics are really straightforward. <laughs> And they're just about the lordship of, uh, of Jesus. And for us, it's like a declaration that um, fear and sickness and pain, um, what you can see uh, with your eyes, the, the natural world, the elements, um, they're actually not the Lord of all. Um, but Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus Christ is in fact the Lord. And so by declaring his lordship over everything um there's there's like really cool power in people's life and so the lyrics of the song um <clears throat> were simple and straightforward and we wrote them in a key that most guys can kind of yell <laughs> even if they have a a bad voice like even if you sing bad we just want people to sing um sing along and so and then uh the the word hallelujah um Hallel Yah is basically just says praise the Lord and so we just wanted to declare that Jesus was Lord over everything and that every other thing would essentially um, submit to the power and the beauty of the name of Jesus and then we just wanted everyone to be able to go <laughs> go crazy and and worship with us and, and praise the Lord in our style and uh, in our song and in our sound so um, yeah that's why we wrote the song to me it's um, one of our one of I think one of the best things we've ever done and um, it's had it's had a huge impact on a lot of people all over the place. So, thank you. All right. <clears throat> uh, my my prayer, like this, this would be my like maybe my hope and my intention for you, not just with the song, but with like our whole band, is that um, that Jesus is real, that you would experience Jesus Christ, that that He would actually like interrupt your life, um, and that you would actually in, in you would see Him, you like know Him. And that you'd be you'd be found kind of in awe the same way that I was, and that uh, you'd actually lay down your life and be like, I will follow, I will follow you for the rest of my days, and I have no embarrassment or shame or worry about that at all. Um, my prayer for the song and for the band and for everything is just that I'm gonna love him and I'm gonna love him as loud as I can, and I will I will continue to be about. Um, my devotion to Jesus, even if it's unpopular, even if it makes me look like a nerd. Um, and so my prayer for you, if you're watching this, is just that you'd really understand that like, you have nothing to be ashamed of if you're living your life for, for the love that God has for you. Nothing to be ashamed of if you want to follow Jesus. He's, he's better than everything. And, uh, and I guess in, in closing, um, I would just say that um, you can lay down your life for, for love. You can lay down your life for unconditional love, which is like really only found in God. And uh, you're gonna get back way more than you ever expected. But my prayer for you is just that you would, you would lose yourself in, uh, in this amazing thing and, uh, and that you'd be found in Jesus forever, so.